All right, guys. So Black Diamonds uh, <clears throat> came out this past Tuesday, actually on the 13th, I believe. And uh, Issues is a new band uh, has featuring Tyler Carter and Michael Bowen from uh, what used to be what was me, and uh, they've created something brand new called Issues. Okay. So uh, if you liked the what was me before, you know with Tyler and stuff. Um, You'll know that Tyler is a very good vocalist. Uh, a lot of people were disappointed when I'd be left to what was me and started up his whole like hip hop and R&B stuff. But a lot of people also dig that. Now I'm just gonna straight up say right now that I really don't have that big of a problem of his, you know, pop stuff and stuff like that. Though I do like him in what was me more. Uh, I don't have a problem with his hip hop and R&B. I really dig both of them because his voice just his voice fits both. I think. And um, and yeah, he's back to the screaming. So of course, I dig this as well. But uh, but yeah, I mean, if if you're if you're gonna ex if you're expecting like more of Tyler's good vocals, yeah, I mean, you you probably you probably will like this. Uh, it features a lot of good range from uh, previous, you know, like what you've heard before. You know, his range is good. All his like I forgot what it's called. It's not falsetto or vibrato, maybe. One of those, I'm really bad at this, sorry. But yeah, one of those where he makes his voice, you know, change pitches and stuff, and it sounds just really good. You know what I'm talking about. But yeah, um, I'm just gonna give you a track by track review since it's uh, just an EP, uh, so I don't do this for every one of the albums I review, but this one I decided to do since it's only like six songs. So yeah, I'm just gonna start off right now. Now, the first track on the CD is called Black Diamonds. It's the intro song to the album, and uh, it's full of static noises. Uh, it's it's what leads up right into the next song, but it's full of static noises, and basically it's just a whole dubstep track. It, that's that's basically what it is. It has like a bass drop sort of thing in it. A uh, whole bunch of poppy sounds, a whole bunch of like sounds that you would hear like in an arcade game or something, you know? Uh, all kinds of like little poppy noises. Um, now, I'm just gonna say that this intro track is not something that you should rely on to tell you what the rest of the album is, because this song is nothing like the other songs. Now, if you're new to listening to like issues and stuff, and your friends like, hey, check out the EP, and you start off with the song, yeah, don't, you know, don't stop there, you know, keep going, because this song definitely does not show you what Issues really is. This next song is called King of Amarillo. It's a really, really heavy song. It starts off with a really cool, um, really cool lyrics. It says, Wrath of the Industry. And then it just goes off with a really cool, you know, hardcore. It's the whole song, the whole band itself is like one of those, it's more uh, core, it's, it's more like hardcore sounding. Uh, that's more of the song. That's more of what some bands are doing now. It's either hardcore, like metalcore. They're going more hardcore with the low tunings and stuff like that. And I really dig that. But uh, but yeah, it goes into a really heavy, heavy song. Uh, this song came out a couple weeks ago, actually. It was the first one, and I really really liked it because I wasn't really sure what I was expecting from Issues. And this song, you know, shows you exactly what Issues really is. Has some really good vocals in it. Um, has some really good screams, and it also has hip hop, the hip hop parts and the poppy parts like Tyler still enjoys. Now that he's doing screams, does not mean that he's completely out of the whole pop and R&B stuff because he did bring it into this band. So yeah, expect to hear that through the EP. The worst in them is a really really good song. Um, the chorus goes throughout the whole song. It's basically repe repeated over and over. But it's not, it's not really bad. It is repeated a good amount of times, but it's really good. This song has mostly clean vocals in it, so don't expect like a whole bunch of screams, and it's not exactly the heaviest song, but it is pretty heavy, and it is packed with a whole bunch of good stuff. Um, personally, this is one of my favorites on the EP. Uh, I know it's only a six track EP, but I do have three favorites still, and this is one of them. It's called Princeton Avenue. Now, this song has the most meaning to it, I find, for the album. Um, it comes straight from the heart, the lyrics, as you can tell, from the chorus uh, throughout. It's just very touching and could, people could probably relate to this uh, if they are the daughter, like if they are the daughter of the family or if they are the wife of the family. It goes basically, 
basically saying if you hit your love or your or you don't even stand up for your child, then you're not you're not considered a man. You're just not. Um, nobody should deserve that in their life. If you really love the person, you wouldn't do that to them. And if you really loved your daughter, you would you know stand up for her and stuff. If you you're not a true man if you create a child and don't take care of the child or fall in love and don't even love the person that you love. It's not. It's... Next song is called Love Sex Right. Now this song is really, 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 really good. I really love this song. It features Franz from Atella in it. And he does a really cool part. It has features two really good breakdowns, really heavy breakdowns. And he does his fast rapping thing. I guess you could say that's what people call it, but I would just consider fast screams. Uh, he does that in the song like twice, I think, for his part. Uh, and the song also features really cool, like, this is more of a, it's a really heavy song, you know, because Franz is in it, of course, so it's going to be all like jumpy and party like. But they have, but it's very hip hoppy too. Now they have like guitar and stuff, but the, the sound of the song is like a hip hop part. Like, if you listen to it, you'll understand because it sounds like you something you would hear on the radio by like, you know, a hip hop artist or something. But mixed with the heavy side and fronds and the screams, it just, it layers out and it balances to where it's, it's really good, basically. And the last song on the album is Her Monologue. Now, this song on YouTube is not like it doesn't show the full thing. The actual song is six minutes long, I think six minutes and 22 seconds. So yeah, if you're watching this on YouTube, the, the song, you're not gonna hear the full song. The full song features about three minutes, about three and a half minutes of you know heavy stuff, a really good song, really good issues sound, and then about halfway through, it, it opens up a whole new thing for issues. Now, this is where it's gonna bring a downfall for a whole bunch of people. I know it already because people don't like rap. A lot of people don't. I'm just gonna say that right there because this song, halfway through, from like halfway to the end, is just nonstop hip hop, pop sound, and two rappers, Tyler Carter and some girl. I'm not sure who the girl is. If you know who the girl is, you comment down below, mess with me or something. Because I really don't know who the girl is, like honestly. But they both spit really hard. Yeah, I said spit. That's, yeah, I said that. But yeah, um, they're both really good. It sounds really cool. And actually, if you really listen, uh, Tyler's rapping is actually like singing as well. So it sounds really nice. And then once that's all you know done, they finish the rapping, then it slows down. And he actually does like some singing, I guess you could say. And they got some really cool keyboard in it too. Um, it's overall, the song is slow and mellow and calm throughout but then the rapping part come in which is really fast so I mean I guess you could say put some oomph in the song but overall the song is kind of on the down low and the reason why I said that people will lose and like they'll just not like this album is because of that part in the song they're, they're not gonna they're gonna dislike that whole part of the song because of the rap now you might enjoy it as far as you enjoy the hip-hop part in the rest of the album uh, it might grow on you because it is different um, and if you want different then here's different because really issues is showing you a really heavy side mixed with hip-hop and rap which is not really what you find in any other band seriously really think about it, there's not really many bands that go that do really heavy music but still have hip-hop and rap mixed in that you know so I mean um, Overall, you know, I, I recommend you check it out. I really enjoy it. Uh, I enjoy it more than some of my friends do, actually. Uh, I, myself, tolerate the rap. And I really could say like it, basically, because I do like it. I don't find it, you know, freaking hurting my ears or something. But, you know, I do favor screams more, but the rapping is really not that bad. I don't find it is. Plus, I really like Tyler's voice anyway. So, yeah, um... Overall, I say rec uh, recommend this album. Uh, if I'd have to rate it, I'd probably give it about a 8.5 to 9 out of 10. Thank you guys for watching so much. Uh, I know I'm going to be back into making videos and stuff. I'm going to try to get some more reviews up and maybe some news videos or something. And uh, if you want to stick to all that, make sure you subscribe and also comment down below if you want to tell me something. Like the video, it really does something actually for it. And message me and that'd be all.
Later, YouTube.